Hello everyone, I hope you are having a wonderful day or wonderful night. Today I want to share how I made my own AC power code, especially designed to use with digital front end components such as digital analog converters, SACD player, CD players, and even music servers. I've been using this power code for a while. So this cable is designed to use with those kind of components while rejecting all the noises that you may experience. Whether you hear the sound improvement or not, at least these are better at rejecting the noises. This one is shielded, grounded, and drained, designed with proper shielding, high quality shielding, unlike many throw in and many uh, mass produced AC power codes that you may have and it comes with most of your components. I really enjoy using it. I really liking what I hear in that particularly in reducing the noise floor using these kind of cables. So I would like to share with you. So this is the video of how I make this cable. So these are the parts that I'm going to use when I built the uh, digital front end power cable. These are basic tools that you need, star and flat head screwdriver, electrical tape, wire stripper, scissor, and utility knife. And this is the 13 millimeter ferrite coal uh, bead uh, noise suppressor. I'm using this Sonar Quest uh, red copper clear plastic housing, which I like. That is the uh, $20 pair, I believe, or $25 pair of these. I will have all the links in the video description. And this is the uh, Neglex Copper Conductors. I took it out of Mogami W3104 uh, speaker wires. So these are the conductors that I'm using. This is the uh, South Wire 12 gauge uh, ground wires. I use this uh, black one. This is the uh, nylon outer sheathing just for protection. So for the shielding, I'm using this tinted copper shielding I'm using on these wires. The component side, the shielding, is going to be lifted and drained to the uh, you know outlet side and also you will need the heat gun or hair dryer if you need and this uh, shrink tubing is I'm using I found a really good one this is the uh, 4 to 1 ratio shrink tubing so if you look at the connecting points right here bottom is ground this side is live it shows it has the L sign on it that is the live feed. This is the neutral, which is the return. So only three connecting points that you have to do. So which is very simple and you can do it very easily. I will be using this orange wire as a live and this yellow as a neutral. So it depends on what kind of wire, what conductor you use. Is You just have to remember which one you use. Just connect the right uh, connecting points on this end. My wires are already stripped. This one is stripped around like three quarter of an inch right here. So that is a perfect length that you can do. Just loosen the uh, connector. Okay. Now, twist it a little bit. Once you screw them down, we're not going to remove it because I'm going to slide the uh, cap on it. See, it's not going anywhere. This is the 12 gauge wire, so I'm going to strip it. There you go. So I'm connecting the uh, ground cable now. So I got the uh, three point connections right here. So once you got that in, all you need is the uh, twist them together. So this is gonna be how it look, like this. You just need to keep on twisting them. So it's gonna be look like this. This is the uh, halfway through. Finish twisting the cable. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to re-secure these conductors just to make sure none of them are loose. And then uh, 
Using the electric tape, just bind them together so we can put the uh, this jacket on. Just keep on sliding them on. So you slide it all the way to the end. Once you get to the end, what you need to do is bring this together like this. Okay, you don't have to have all, all of them. If you can do it, that's fine. So like this. Then I twist this. So this is your ground drain that you're gonna be draining the ground. So let's loosen this screw again. And then um, just connect the uh, grounding point right here. So now, as you can see, ground is drained. Then uh, all I need to do is before I put the uh, outer layer, all I need to do is clean up this area. So I'm gonna do the uh, a little bit of electric tape right here. So half of the electric tape width. This is optional, you don't need to do it. I mean, I just want to make sure nothing is touching each other. Push this one all the way out and massage the cable. This side, we're not gonna be draining the ground, so what we're gonna do is we just cut it off right around here. This is the wall side, this is your component side. It's not final yet. What we're gonna do is, so we're gonna put the outer jacket. So now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna shrink this one on right here. It's about two inches. There you go, we're gonna glue it down. Just finished shrinking the heat shrink tubing. I'm gonna let it cool it down. So once this cooled down, you just slide this cap on all the way to this side. When you slide the cap back onto the cable, sometimes this uh, little rubber washer might comes out. So when it happens, you just pop out this little plastic cap and then uh, we slide the uh, rubber piece back on to there. Once you get that on, you just pop this back on. That's it, you're all set. It's just a little retaining uh, washer and plastic cap that you have to put this back on. So now this side is done. So please remember, I use the orange color cable as the uh, live wire. So I'm gonna be using the uh, same one. This one is ground drain on this end. So don't forget to screw this on. This ferrite coat gonna be attaching on the outer on the outer jacket because this jacket will not fit with this one on. Keep on massaging for the nice and tight fitment. So now what we have to do is we just need to attach this and cut this outer jacket, this longer area, so we don't need them. So this side is your component side, so tinted copper shield will not be connected on this end. Just regular ground with live and neutral wires. So that is the uh, design of this cable. Then you just need to slide the cap on. You have to put everything together before you do the, all the connections right here. Just put the electrical tape to retain that uh, outer jacket and put this uh, shrink tubing on that way it won't slide around so once you get it on and remove all these electric tape that you use as the uh, retainer then uh, adjust the uh, the conductors trim the so that's the uh, mess that you're gonna be dealing if you're doing this shielding there are easier one that you can do a uh, tape shielding but it's not as good as these kind of uh, shielding in my opinion so it's time to connect everything this orange is the light yellow is the neutral this black is the ground wire copper shielding will not be connected on this ground side because the component side there you go. ground is made you're gonna be connecting neutral side that's it so once you make the connection, what you want to do is you want to twist it. 
again so now we can clean it so I just finished trimming all that now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put another electrical tape right here the reason is I don't want that thing to move in back out then uh, I can slide this uh, shrink tubing on this is the uh, dual layer shrink tubing like this now I can shrink it down now we're gonna slide the uh, outer cap and we are all good to go I try to put this uh, plastic retainer back on it's gonna be super tight it can work without it but I just like to have it in there so that way cable gonna stay in the middle now we can screw it back down we are almost done this is the uh, probably one of the simplest thing that you can do to improve the uh, you know electrical signal every cables matter as long as you know you're using the uh, good quality cable with good design everything can be improved especially rejecting the uh, EMI RFI you know all the electrical noise that you may have experienced so now we are almost done So that's it I just put the uh, right uh, noise suppressor on and we are good to go that's it my friend this is the uh, cable that we just finished making it's a little stiff but uh it should be fine with the most of your components so ground lifted shielded and drain really like using these kind of cables so that's it my friend highly recommend it you may really enjoy making it and it will have a great benefit to your system thank you for watching and happy listening